Hello everyone. Welcome to this quick video presentation on medical certification of cause of death. In today's training, I will answer the question, how do I complete an MCCD form? This quick video on MCCD training is a part of initiative of Tata Memorial Center's Unit for Strengthening Cause of Death Data. My name is Dr. Sanjita Sarang and I am working as the MCCD e-learning country coordinator with the CDC Foundation, supporting data for health initiative activities in India. I support MCCD training activities through the unit for strengthening cause of dead data based at Tata Memorial Center. In this quick video, I am going to explain the process to correctly complete the MCCD form. Let me first start by explaining what I mean by MCCD. Medical certification of cause of death, also known as MCCD for short, is the reporting of causes of death on one of the three specific forms used in India. Form 4 for facility deaths, Form 4A for non-facility deaths, which you can see here on the screen, and post-mortem reporting form for deaths referred to medical legal death system. The MCCD form is required by the Registration of Births and Deaths Act of 1969. The standard MCCD form is developed by World Health Organization also known as WHO and implemented by countries as it is or slightly modified. The WHO recently revised the MCCD international form in 2016. You can see this WHO MCCD form on the screen. This version has not yet been adopted in India, but is expected to be reviewed and adopted at some point. To certify a death in India, you need to complete form two along with MCCD form. For deaths occurring in health facilities, you need to use Form 4. For deaths occurring outside health fa facilities, you need to use Form 4A. For postmortem deaths, you need to use the postmortem reporting form. Some facilities give doctor access to online CRS system to directly enter causes of death information electronically. Here you see Form 2, the death report form that is completed for each death. It includes information on the decedent that is used for legal and statistical purposes. For each death you attend, complete Form 2 and the necessary MCCD form, Form 4, Form 4A or the postmortem form. Here you see Form 4 which is used for facility deaths and 4A for non-facility deaths. Postmortem forms also report MCCD, but the MCCD reporting component in the postmortem form is not a standalone form like Form 4 and 4A. The postmortem reports include the cause of death along with a substantial amount of other information from the postmortem assessment. Here you will see the standard form revised by the WHO in 2016. It has not yet been adopted in India, but is expected to be reviewed and adopted at some point. Therefore, the WHO 2016 international form is used throughout the unit for strengthening cause of death data video trainings. You will see that WHO MCCD form has a medical data section with part one for the reporting of causes of death. The WHO MCCD form also includes additional questions on surgery, autopsy, pregnancy, and circumstances in cases of deaths from external causes. The additional information from these questions is helpful in determining the underlying cause of death, which is then used by policymakers and program managers for better, better health policy planning. Forms 4 and 4A are based on the WHO recommended forms. Although Form 4 and 4A have not yet been revised to meet the current WHO standard, you can see that the core sections are present. You have the administrative section for reporting basic demographic, demographic information, for example, sex and age at the death. You also have the medical section to report the conditions included in the causal sequence, a column to report the time interval for each reported condition, and a section to report other significant conditions. Death reporting and cause of death reporting can also be done directly in the online birth and death registration system managed by the Registrar General of India. On the WHO MCCD form, the medical data section has two parts, part one and part two. Part one includes lines to report the causal sequence and the time interval of each reported condition. 
the causal sequence means the medical condition that occurred as a chain of events leading ultimately to death part 2 is the area to report the other significant conditions that contributed to death but are not part of the causal sequence in part 1 you report the diseases morbid conditions or injuries and the circumstances of accident or violence which resulted in death to determine the underlying cause of death you should establish the causal sequence of conditions leading to death this causal sequence is the chain of events that ultimately leads to death what is the causal sequence the term causal sequence refers to a chain or series of medical events in which each step is a complication of or is caused by the previous step to complete the causal sequence you can start by writing the tentative underlying cause of death and then work upwards to the immediate cause of death listed in line a you can also start by writing the immediate cause of death and work your way back to the tentative underlying cause of death this approach is recommended by the world health organization and the approach we will present in our examples remember to always include a time interval for each condition listed for the causal sequence state the disease or condition that started the chain of events in line a and work your way through the pathological order to the tentative underlying cause the originating condition of the causal sequence is the tentative underlying cause of death which initiated the chain of events leading ultimately to death in part 1 line a you list the immediate or terminal cause of death the immediate cause is a term used to describe the terminal illness final condition that led to death of a person after the immediate cause you report the intermediate cause or causes if there are multiple in lines between the immediate and tentative underlying cause of death the intermediate cause is a cause due to or as a cause consequence of underlying cause of death the tentative underlying cause of death is the primary cause of death or the originating cause is the disease or injury that initiated the chain of events that led to death this originating cause is the primary cause that ultimately caused the person to die even if it occurred a few days or months before death note that the underlying cause of death is listed in the lowest line used it can be line a b c or d depending on how many causes are listed the best way to confirm causal sequence is with time interval the condition with the longest duration should be listed in the lowest line if the time interval is unknown write unknown if the exact time interval is uncertain then an estimated time such as hours or minutes is acceptable a time interval should be included for every condition listed in part 2 you list the causes that were present at the time of death and contributed to death of a person but do not fit into causal sequence unlike part 1 where only one condition can be listed per line you can report multiple conditions in part 2 the sequence of conditions is not of importance for these contributing conditions as it is for conditions listed in part 1 here you can see an example of well written mccd form the reported conditions are listed in a causal sequence the severe plasmodium vivax infection gave rise to hypoglycemia that gave rise to coma which ultimately resulted in death the underlying cause of death is listed in the lowest line used and the time intervals are listed for each condition here you can see an example of a poorly written mccd form line a is left blank in line b you will see details are missing from the head injury head injury should not be stated instead terms such as multiple blunt force trauma on the head skull fracture etc should be mentioned in line c you will see that hypertension is abbreviated abbreviations should not be used in looking at the causal sequence you will see that it is not presented hypertension does not directly cause head injuries finally time intervals have not been reported for either conditions listed there are various errors on this mccd form remember correct and complete reporting of cause of death for every death is essential medical certification of cause of death mccd is as important as what a doctor writes in a patient's case notes the cause of death doctor report in mccd form influence policy and planning of health programs 
I hope you enjoyed this quick video training and now understand how to correctly complete MCCD form. If you are interested in completing a training on correct medical certification of cause of death, please attend our four hours e-learning course available on Omnicurious platform. This course is eligible for one CMA credit point and 100% free of cost. The details of course are mentioned in the description box and available on website of Unit of Strengthening Cause of Death Data Data Memorial Center. Enroll now. Thank you and goodbye.